After about a day and a half of grinding, I finally got the MP5 gold, and I'll show you exactly how I did it. But if you're looking for specific tips, timestamps will be linked in the description below. Quick disclaimer, these tips can be used for all SMGs, but the MP5 is currently the only one I have gold. So if you want to see me make a video on another SMG, let me know in the comments below. Also, I'll be making a broader guide on all the SMGs once I get them diamond. Anyways, the MP5 has to be the most infamous weapon at the launch of Black Ops Cold War. So much so, it received a nerf to its effective damage range by 33%. Even with this nerf, this is still a very solid weapon and well worth the grind to get this thing gold. The fire rate and damage output of this SMG is monstrous, it absolutely shreds people to bits. This weapon is bound to get you a few death threats a game, but the reactions can be worth it. Crap. Now let's get into the camos. For the spray camo, you'll need to get 300 eliminations in multiplayer. This is a very passive camo and you're bound to unlock it just by using the gun. I recommend throwing on some larger mags, like the 40 round drum, and some fast ADS attachments like speed wraps. And maybe even add a steady aim laser to increase hip fire accuracy and your overall killing efficiency with this weapon. Difficulty? Easy. For the stripes camo, you need to get 75 headshot medals in multiplayer. This is a little tougher, but it's not too bad. I recommend throwing on an optic that you like. My personal favorites so far are the millstop reflex, the diamondback reflex, and the axial. I'm pretty sure that's how you say it. Axial arms three times scope. This will give you an easier time hitting those headshots, plus you can unlock some radicals along the way. Also, I always have to mention crosshair placement is crucial to getting this camo done as quick as possible. It's like fixing your E posture. Just try to keep it up around the chest to head level. Difficulty? Not bad. For the classic camo, you need to get five kills without dying 20 times in multiplayer. Bloodthirsty is a little tricky to get if you're not used to the game yet. Practicing better movement and positioning will help a lot with this challenge and it'll improve your gameplay overall. You can do this by using cover to your advantage when needing to reload or to chill for a second regen help. Pre-aim in common spots as you move around the map helps a lot as well. The more frequently you use this gun and the more familiar you get with how it works, the easier this challenge will get. I also recommend slowing down your gameplay quite a bit if you're struggling with this challenge. This should help you avoid unnecessary deaths when on a streak. Difficulty? Rainbow Road. For the geometric camo, you need to get 50 long shot medals. Now with the recent nerf to the MP5, this challenge is directly affected, with its effective damage range being reduced pretty significantly. To counter this, you'll need to build your weapon around shooting at a far range, like adding at least a 2 times scope and longer barrels. And since it's a bitch to level weapons up in this game, here's a few loadouts you can use at lower and higher weapon levels to make this camo easier. Go ahead and pause the video if you need some loadout suggestions, or if you have any better ones, leave them in the comments below. And the thing that helped me the most was playing hardcore for this challenge. In hardcore, it takes significantly less bullets to take down an opponent and will save you time and brain cells. Playing at longer sight lines on the maps helps as well. You might also have to play like I showed for this one. Difficulty? Pretty shitty. For the flora camo, you need to kill 75 enemies detected, stunned, or blinded by your keyword has to be your own score streaks, equipment, or field upgrades in multiplayer. By far, the best way to get this done is to use the Danger Close wild card. With this, you get double the number of stuns or flashes you have in your loadout. You should also equip a field mic, and for your score streak, you're going to want to have a spy plane. This works best in core, because field mics don't really do anything in hardcore. To be most efficient with this, place your field mic near you in a high traffic area. Make sure they're hidden or at least a little protected while doing this. You should also be flashing or stunning objectives, corners, or just anywhere where you think an enemy will come from. Fitting this into your playstyle will help this challenge go by dramatically faster and save you the pain of trying to grind it all out later. Also, if you run out of flashes or stuns, there are resupply crates on every map if I'm not mistaken that will refill your nades once per life. Difficulty? Tedious. For the science camo, you need to kill 75 enemies at point blank range in multiplayer. Alright, this challenge sucks my ass. How the game detects point blank kills will never make sense to me. It seems like the gun needs to be placed directly into the mouth of enemies for you to get these medals. This challenge personally took the longest for me to complete, but what I did was rush people down trying to get as close as possible before killing an opponent. Liking helps a lot too if they can't kill you before you get there. I recommend using perks like Gung Ho to get your kill speed up. And if you're feeling extra crazy, you can use the Lawbreaker wildcard and throw on Ghost and Ninja with Gung Ho to make it even easier to flank opponent. I mainly used Hipfire to get this challenge done because it was easier than aiming down sights that close to opponents. For this, I used Hipfire boosting attack attachments like the steady aim laser and the ember sighting point. Difficulty? Garbage. For the psychedelic camo, you need to get 25 double kills in multiplayer. This is probably the easiest weapon to do this challenge with. Just in case you're struggling with this camo, I'm going to give you the same advice I always do for this challenge. Always be ready for another person to pop out if you just got a kill. Reloading or sprinting right after a kill will oftentimes get you killed. Play around objectives. More often than not, there will be multiple people trying to attack or defend a spot in domination, so I recommend this mode for all your grinding needs. Difficulty? Meh. That's all the tips I have for getting the MP5 gold. If this helped you at all or you learned something new, drop a like on it. If not, 
dislike. And if you're part of the 83% of people that watch my videos and aren't subscribed, please consider doing so. It helps the channel out a lot and you can unsubscribe at any time. I'm also going to be streaming the grind over on Twitch, so you can head on over there if you want to suggest tips, attachments, or just watch me suffer. Links to my Instagram, Twitter, and second channel will be in the description below. Check those out for more content. And if you made it all the way to the end of the video, leave a GG easy in the comments below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Now crouch, look up at me, and yeah. say thank you without closing your mouth. Look, look. <laughs>